A warm welcome to AD4 TV Radio News Update, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital territory. I am Gracious Ogun. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation this Saturday said the refineries owned by the federal government recorded a total loss of $49 million, equivalent of 18.96 billion naira, in the first two months of this year. There was anxiety over the arrival of the Madagascar Herbal Cure COVID Organics in Nigeria this Saturday. NAVDAC's Director of Public Relations, Dr. Abuba Kajimo, said the agency will expedite the laboratory process once it receives it from the authorities. The United States Agency for International Development has designed a new activity to improve the health and well-being of poor urban adolescents in Nigeria. The USAID Deputy Health Officer, Director Minal Amin, explained that the design includes a network of youth hubs in Lagos and Kano states, which will provide for 2 million adolescent girls and boys with safe spaces to acquire skills, practical information for workforce development, and fun activities that encourage self-esteem and team building. Sierra Leone's president, Julius Mada Bayo, has appointed Nigerian Dr. Laolu Adejayan as head of the COVID-19 tax force in Sierra Leone. The president noted that Adejayan is a brilliant and hardworking medical doctor, the most outstanding foreign medical practitioner the country has had in recent times. The Akita State Government Nigeria has revealed its 2020 budget from the initial 124.5 billion naira to 91.128 billion naira. According to the State Commissioner for Information and Values Orientation, Mr. Muyua Olumilua, the decline in global oil price has caused a drastic reduction in revenue allocation to the state from the federal government, which has led to the 33 billion naira budget slash. The British Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy this Saturday said the government will invest about 93 million euros, which is equivalent to $100.6 million in the United Kingdom's new vaccine manufacturing centre to ensure it is up and running by 2021. The Vaccine Manufacturing and Innovation Centre was initially scheduled to open in 2022. We'll take a break now. We'll be right back. Taking responsibility means having to care for a suspected COVID-19 patient. Here are some of the precautions you can take as a home caregiver. Isolate the patient away from the rest of the family, preferably in a separate room or quarters. Wear a medical mask when you're in the same room as the ill person. And don't touch the mask or your face during care. Discard it afterwards. Frequently clean your hands with soap and water or an alcohol-based rub, especially after you've touched the ill person or their surroundings. Use dedicated dishes, cups, utensils, towels and bed linens for the sick person and take notes of frequently touched surfaces by the ill person and clean and disinfect them regularly. And most importantly, call your state hotlines or the NCDC immediately if the person worsens or experiences difficulty breathing. My name is Dr. Ola Brown. This message is brought to you by the United Nations in conjunction with the federal government of Nigeria. Welcome back. You're watching AD4 TV radio news update. China and South Korea are looking up to Japan on tips to ease border controls on business travelers to help revive economic activities in their countries. However, report says Tokyo is cautious about relaxing border controls at this point due to fears of another spike in infections as well as a lack of test kits for travelers. According to reports, some international flights have scheduled plans to resume flights to Lagos, Abuja and Port Harcourt airports in June despite the ban on international commercial flights by the federal government. However, the Federal Ministry of Aviation has won them off until the flight ban is lifted. That's it on AD4 TV Radio News Updates, coming to you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. You can join the conversation on our website at www.ad4tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84 TV Radio. Many thanks for watching. I am Gracious Ogun.